<clears throat> What's going on, y'all? Scott Pizzle. I want to talk about Eli Apple, and then I want to talk about my channel. A lot of Giant fans are excited about Eli Apple being um, being traded to the New Orleans Saints today for a fourth round and seventh round draft pick. I'm on the fence about it. I like that he got traded, but there's a part of me that's sad that it's just another first round draft pick that the Giants failed on. And in my opinion, you can point and point the finger at, at um, any player on this 53-man roster, but I'd ask you to look at the draft class of the last several years, and, and I think that will tell you why the New York Giants are in the position that they're in. They haven't drafted well, and you just simply can't miss on first-round draft picks. You can't really even miss on one. So the fact that you miss on several um, – Sets the franchise back, and fans like me hoped and wished that it wouldn't hurt us, but it's clear as day that in all these tight games, because the Giants are 1-6 right now, but many of these games, they were in it all the way to the end. They were tight games, but it's it's clear to me, and I think it's clear to some Giant fans, that they're always missing that one one big-time player when it matters the most. And it's making the difference in these games. And instead of winning these close games, we're losing them. And it's simply because we don't have the – we don't have the – we don't have them. We don't have the, that guy to step up and make that big-time play. We need that cornerback that we drafted in the first round to get that interception. You know, we need that tackle that we drafted in the first round to block those guys and they're just not there and we're having this we're having to clean up a, a terrible mess and I'm heartbroken and disappointed about it. I want to talk about my channel real fast or as fast as I can. I hate to admit things that bother me but sometimes I think you just have to you have to admit them. I hate when people come to my channel and tell me that I'm copying EDP. I don't I don't ever want to be in the same category as EDP ever in anything in life. And I wish some of these hardcore not hardcore guys, but some of these guys that have been on here as long as I have would tell the truth and tell you that I was on here long before EDP. And that my content could have easily well been stolen by a guy like EDP. Now, don't get me wrong. He has his own spin, but he took my recipe and he cooks it up the way he wants to do it. And in my opinion, my channel is a tree. And among this tree, there are many branches you know, Bad Dog was giving me shit a week, week and a half ago, whenever the hell it was. But Bad Dog is a branch to my tree. I have all the respect in the world for Uncle Lou. But whether Uncle Lou knows it or not, he is a branch to my tree. EDP is a branch to my tree. There was a time when making football videos on YouTube was not popular. I was here during that time time period. And I went out and found many people to watch not only my content, but other people's content, which then went on and create things like the College TTC and, and other video makers came in and started making them. And then it spread and it spread and it spread. But the bottom line is guys like me are trees with branches. And whether you want to admit that or not, it's the truth. It is. I think I think my channel is very unappreciated. It's very underrated. And it doesn't get it doesn't get the support that it deserves, in my opinion. Um somebody the other day, or hell yesterday, said that 
they thought I was a psychopath based on my post-game videos, which is couldn't be further from the truth. And, you know, I've had, I've had plenty of mean comments sent my way, and I'm pretty tough about it, but this world tells you all the time to, to, to be who you want to be. Do whatever you want to do. Don't let anybody tell you differently. Okay. Well, I'm being who I want to be. I'm showing the world who, who what I am. I'm showing the world my passion. I'm showing the world my love for the New York football giants. And it's it's being told that it's a problem. Don't get me wrong, I get a lot of, a lot of nice comments too, but a psychopath? I'm not hurting nobody. I'm not killing nobody. You know, I have a family that I care very much for. And I just ask for 10 minutes, you know, maybe 20 minutes tops of, for every week to, sh you know, put my love out there for the Giants. And, um... What I'm getting to is I don't know I don't know what the future holds for my channel anymore. And it's hard for me to say that. I've been through I've been through this I've been through it all good times and bad, but I just don't know honestly if it's worth it anymore. I, I just don't know. So, I just, I'm, I, I just don't, I, I, I don't know, I'm not, I don't want anything from anybody, I'm just putting this out there that I, I don't know, I don't know where I, I stand with my channel right now, and um, I just need some, I just need some time to think about what I want to do, but, um, you know, I, I don't know if, I just don't know if I'm going to, I just don't know, <sighs> I just don't know what I want to, I don't know if I want to continue anymore, and it has nothing to do with the Giants, it's just, I just don't know if I want to show the world this side of me anymore. I just, I just, I just, I, it might just be better if I kept it to myself. That's just all I want to say.